Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will understand about dedicated exchange hybrid app and then we will try to configure it. Before proceeding, let's see the overview. When exchange server is deployed in a hybrid configuration, features such as free BZ, mail tips and photos become available between exchange server and exchange online that provide the seamless experience for the user. This feature is automatically configured when you run the hybrid configuration wizard for the first time. And to enable the hybrid feature, Exchange Server utilizes a shared service principle with Exchange Online for secure communication. The hybrid configuration wizard uploads the current auth certificate from your exchange organization to the shared service principle to facilitate this process. Retirement of EWS Microsoft is retiring the EWS and it will be set fully depreciated in Exchange Online in October 26. Also, the EWS dependencies will be removed from first-party apps and services. Exchange Server hybrid setup is affected by this as it shared the service principle from the Exchange Online. Exchange Server replaces the EWS API call with the REST-based graph API call in the hybrid setup in the future. It will use the separate application in Microsoft Enter ID instead of shared service principle. Important point. If you already configured dedicated exchange hybrid app previously or if you had a hybrid configuration, it is recommended to run the script in a service principle cleanup mode. It will remove any certificate that were uploaded to the first party service principle. If you are unsure, simply run the script in a cleanup mode to remove any leftover certificate. Let's also discuss the prerequisites. You must set up either classic full or modern full hybrid using the hybrid configuration wizard. Also the supported version of Exchange Server is Exchange Server Subscription Edition RTM and there is a build number and if you are using Exchange 2019, you should be at the CU 14 and 15 along with the April 2025 HU. And if you are using Exchange 2016, you should be at CU 23 with April 2025 HU. Also one thing to note here is that latest hybrid configuration wizard supports configuring the dedicated Exchange hybrid application. However, it does not enable the feature automatically, so it does not perform the cleanup of the certificate. You have to run that manually. Dedicated Exchange Hybrid Script Microsoft provides a script to create the dedicated Exchange Hybrid application in Enter ID and to configure the feature. There are two scenarios in which the script can be executed. One is all-in-one configuration mode and the other is split execution configuration mode. If you run it with the all-in-one configuration mode, this is designed for the simplicity and is suitable for most customers. It allows for a streamlined setup process and that is making it ideal for environment where ease of configuration is a priority. And if you talk about the split execution configuration mode, this is intended for more advanced scenario. It is useful when your exchange server lacks the outbound connectivity to the Microsoft Graph API or the Enter ID endpoints. Let's also discuss about the connectivity. This script utilizes the Microsoft Graph API to create and manage application in the Microsoft Enter ID. It requires the outbound connectivity to the specified endpoints. And to verify the connection to the Graph and Enter ID endpoint, you can use the testnet connection PowerShell commandlet. Therefore, you can run the commandlet like testnet connection computer name login.microsoftonline.com and the port is 443. Same you can test with the graph as well. Let's also see the changes made by the script. Before running the script, you should have the proper permission like you should have a global admin access right. So when you run the script, it creates a new application with the name Exchange Server App along with the GUID of the organization in the Enter ID. It assigns full permission to the EWS API and also grant the tenant-wide admin consent. Update Certificate It uploads the current auth certificate to the application in Enter ID and delete any certificate from the application which has already expired. Configure Target Sharing EPR It identify and enable the organization relationship configured between Exchange Server and Exchange Online and it use the auto discover to query the Exchange Web Services endpoint. Enable Exchange Hybrid Application Override If this script run, it validate if the application in Enter ID has a correct API permission and tenant-wide admin consent is granted or not. Delete Application This deletes the dedicated Exchange application in the Enter ID. 
reset first party service principal key credential it removes the all existing key credential from the exchange online first party application service principal configuration using the script we have all in one configuration mode and this is the recommended way to configure this feature and to use this mode run the script on a mailbox server with outbound connectivity split execution configuration mode if your mailbox server does not have a outbound connectivity to the microsoft graph or enter id you can run the script in multiple steps update certificate mode this step is not required when configuring and enabling the dedicated hybrid application for the first time this step can be used to update the certificate if the auth certificate expired or was replaced delete application mode this also not required when configuring and enabling the dedicated hybrid application feature for the first time service principal cleanup mode hybrid configuration wizard uploads the current auth certificate from your exchange organization to the first party service principal and this practice is no longer recommended and should not be performed therefore the auth certificate must now be uploaded exclusively to the dedicated exchange hybrid application and after enabling the dedicated exchange hybrid application feature ensure that all the exchange server are running in the latest version and you should have to clean up the certificate that were previously uploaded to the first party party service principal in our next video we will try to configure the dedicated exchange hybrid application i hope the video was informative let's meet in a next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever i post new content